Hello everybody, Mr. Happy here, and welcome back to the final part of my Final Fantasy XV uh, episode Duske playthrough. The final part of the demo is going to be tracking down and killing Dead Eye the Behemoth. Now this is actually a pretty long and, uh, I, I don't think interesting is the right word, different approach to handling this quest. So first, in order to uh, start it out, we have to do this focus yeah. thing that I skipped before. So let's just do that real quick. What is that over there? Is that the other enemy that I was talking about? No, that's... No, okay. Never mind. It's just the way the shadows look. So, uh, yeah, I thought I saw that that special rare enemy that I haven't really seen this way. anything of since the, the first time I saw it. So we found the first clue, and that triggers a little mini event right here. You'll see. I'm going to try to walk away, and something's going to happen. It also wants me to track. Now, I know exactly what I need to do here. I need to... Uh, get three of these hints. So I'm going to start with that one right there. I'm going to work my way down and around. And the, the ones that are nearest the, uh, the campsite where the cave is, those are the ones I'm going to end with. So I'm going to take two steps and watch what's going to happen. Yeah, the, Imperial the Imperial Army. Army. So How even though I run into them a bunch of times already, this is where we get the actual explanation of the Imperial well, Army. There's also water. one place in the world where you get an explanation of what Garulas uh, are. I don't know where that is anymore, though. Just like, I haven't, you know, like, seen it. That's what I was... Oh, well, this just became a battle. Yeah, clean him up what quick. the heck? No, I just wanted to <laughs> I just wanted to fight Imperials. Why is this happening all of a sudden? Need to do that. Oh my goodness, that was close. So that attack that that guy just did is actually a lethal, lethal attack. Up, oh, up, oh, dodge, 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 up. Oh, Should have waited till the final attack. Yeah, these guys uh, with the flags, they can kick you in the face pretty hard. I actually wanted to use the Armager, but then I uh, didn't. So, yep, there we go. This should make short work. This should make very short work of my enemies. Oh my goodness, this thing is getting demolished. Do you see this? The swords are just destroying him. I did, however, just put myself into stasis by teleporting when I had, when I was in Armager. So yeah, teleporting, remember, does EMP, so if you use it while in the middle of your Armager, there is a chance that it can reduce you down to zero and uh, make your life a living hell, pretty much. Ow. Oof. Did I just, oh, I knocked him off, I knocked him off guard. Oh, that was close. I knocked him off guard by accident, except that now I'm trying to kill him. There we go. Ooh, ow. I chopped him in half with the sword. Hold on, we gotta. I gotta go. Uh, I don't think his think his body's gonna be gone by the time I get over there. I chopped him in half with the sword. I've never seen that happen before. That was uh, that was impressive. I didn't even know you could do that. I got took so much damage that I didn't get any bonus experience, but whatever. I'll accept it because I got to chop a. I mean, you gotta remember those guys aren't real people. They're Magitech guards. They're machines, basically. So as badass as that was, I didn't actually chop a guy in half. I chopped a machine in half. All right, so in order to unlock the next part of the Behemoth quest, we are going to need to find three clues, like I said before. So that's how we're going to start. What do you say we check check what out? Oh, that? Okay. That's what he was talking about. Usually, they'll make you lock onto something when you're about 50 meters away from it. And then you just got to get a little bit closer. All right. In case you can't tell what that is, those are Behemoth scratch marks across the edge of the rock. Not Dwayne Johnson. I don't know why I like saying that. Whenever I say The Rock, whenever I'm talking about a rock in any game, I always feel the need to say Dwayne Johnson. For those who don't know who Dwayne Johnson is, he is The Rock from... Well, I'm surprised I have to explain this. From uh, WWE. Well, it's not WWE anymore. That's what it was when I knew him. The World, Rest well, the World Wrestling Fed Federation, basically. Oh, my goodness. I am so sorry. I'm about to be sorry to you as well. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, I didn't even want to fight you things. I'm sorry that I'm calling you things and not animals, but you're things to me because I don't know what a gorilla is. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I don't want to know. I just want you to die so I can go and kill a behemoth and get my car fixed. That's all I want. That was a pretty simple battle. 34 seconds, 257%. It's like five. See, that turns 150 exp into over 500 exp really, really quick. Do you guys see what I see? Uh, I don't know. What do you see? Yeah. Oh yeah, I see that. Looks like uh, some trees were destroyed over here. Uh, didn't need to see uh, that. Okay, let me get a little bit closer. Thanks for getting in my way, prompto. As if that's anything new. 
Just kidding. Not really. Anyway, uh, on to the next one. Let's set the destination for... Yep, that one. And this should be the last one I need to do. I do need to follow the path up here, though, in order to get over there. Where is the path? The path's really that far away? Hmm. Because I have poor perception of the map. Oh, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. We got it. We got it. All right. So we're going to cut through here real quick. Grab the third clue, and then we'll find out where the behemoth is. He's always in the same place. I know where he is. I'm just not telling you where he is. But you have to find these three clues before you can actually go and challenge him. And you're going to see that challenging a behemoth is not as simple as it sounds in this game. You're going to find that out very, very quickly. That it's not literally like, go to boss, attack boss, kill boss, boss dead. There's, it's like a whole huge thing that you need to do, and you're trying to take on an enemy of this caliber. Which makes me excited for the... Oh, I just <laughs> I just got tired. Which makes me excited for um, for the summoning fights. Because you if you heard at the beginning of the first video, they mentioned... Or if you even... Uh, the thing is, there was something that I forgot to mention in the first video. I didn't show you the... Uh, the opening, I guess the, the, the new game screen or the continue screen. It's because for some reason I've been having terrible yeah, audio that are on that screen when you're using a capture card. So I spared you that fate. But there's actually a little thing where they talk about the Archaean Titan. And at the very beginning, you heard uh, you heard him say, Tremors, looks like, uh, uh, looks, look, look what you did or something like that. And then uh, Gladio co goes, just call me Titan. They're actually, the whole reason they're trying to get their car fixed is because they're trying to go see the Archaean Titan, who is basically a summon of the game. And if you've seen any of the trailers, you might have seen them trying to fight him. He is enormous. And I almost wish the Titan boss fight was in the game, but it's not. Alright, so that definitely looks like the work of a behemoth. Yeah, so this path that I went through before was actually the path where the behemoth was. You just can't actually go through until you trigger that event. And the main reason to know that there's a behemoth in the area is because when you check this sign, it says, Danger! No entry! Behemoth in area! Am I the only one who finds it hard to believe that the behemoth is killing the wildlife, destroying trees, basically wrecking everything, but he didn't take down a sign that says, Danger! No entry! Behemoth in area! Literally half a step away from the trees he ripped down to get into this little place. Just nitpicking at this point. I found it interesting to say the least. And he's knocking down even more trees. Open fields make me run around. So now uh, we're in Dead Eyes Den, yeah. pretty much. Uh, they just warned me to make camp and prepare in case I didn't before coming here. I don't, th I don't know if they'll let you warn you like that in the in the full game. And we do have some enemies that we have to kill before we can move on. Wouldn't be a good Final Fantasy game if a dungeon didn't have a few uh, extra enemies for you to kill along the way, which is pretty cool. And also, you'll notice that it's uh, getting pretty foggy right now. This is actually uh, normal. The fog, uh, the fog is pretty cool. I don't think this fog, other than reducing y the visibility, I don't think it does anything. But I, uh, I am interested in seeing the way weather effects do actually affect combat. I don't know if it. The thing is, I don't know if it only decreases my visibility because I don't know enough about these enemies. I don't know if they're able to hear from far away or sense food from far away. So it's hard to really tell if. Um, if this fog does anything other than make it harder for me to see. But I'm assuming they have some co pretty cool things planned in the full game. Also, again, your map is replaced with the full map. Wait, I can go back this way? What the heck is down here? Is there an item down here? It's off the map. Oh, no, it's not. I just couldn't see it. Dragon scales. Those sell pretty well, I think. It's always worth checking every corner. What's this? Tiny feather. Oh, I think it's because the behemoth eats chocobos. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. Oh, hey, another one. Is there any more dragon scales? I'll, I'll take all the dragon scales. Yes! Give me all the dragon scales. It's weird, though. Why are there dragon scales here? Oh. No, that's a, those are branches. No, why are there dragon scales here? Am I the only one who thinks that doesn't make sense? This is a behemoth, not a dragon. These saber tusks. Tusks. Clearly not dragons. So these sequences, also fairly common in uh, in the game. I mean, I'm assuming they are. But you'd think that I'm in the den, I'm just going to go, I'm going to find him, I'm going to fight him. Maybe I have to kill a few enemies along the way, do a few puzzles. Well, you won't be disappointed. But you are going to see that the puzzles aren't quite what you're expecting them to be. 
And they're, I guess they're not so much puzzles, but you'll see what I mean after the end of this. By the way, I am controlling Noctis right here. I can only move forward, but I am controlling him. You saw me stop there for a second. They just try to make taking on these large enemies as big of a deal as it really should be. Hold on. You know? So I only felt like, even I felt like the audio was off there. Another thing that happens pretty often here... Deadeye. The name says it all. But he didn't actually say anything. I don't know if I'm expected to read lips without subtitles. Because if you don't have subtitles on, there's no audio there. Every time I've played through this, there's never been audio there. Does it again. I mean, you kind of have to be quiet. But I feel like he's not supposed to have no audio there. I feel like that is, like, a mistake. They want you to feel like you are a person in this game. Sure, you're a person with swords and you teleport all over the place. But they want you to feel like, hey. They want you to feel like, hey, this enemy is big. This enemy is dangerous. You can't just go charging in and expect to win. It's a pretty epic feel, I guess. I gotta admit. First time running across this behemoth is pretty epic. Also, this behemoth is ripped as hell. Have you seen this thing's muscles? Granted, all behemoths in the series are pretty much ripped out of their mind. But they went really far out of their way to make him seem even more ripped. Alright, so we're going to sneak past this real quick. Alright. Don't just... We're being quiet now because we don't want to upset the behemoth. Here we go. We definitely don't... Prompto, how did you lose max HP? Every time I look at your health bar, Prompto, you have less max HP than you should. <laughs> Bottom line. I like how I actually got louder as soon as we were out in the open. Yeah. <laughs> I like how it was clear, and then we had to wait for the fog to settle in again. <laughs> and also, you they they make note of the uh, of the behemoth's name being Dead Eye, and that being a weakness of his. There are enemies that do ha unique enemies that do have weaknesses like that, which means you know making sure that you attack it from a certain side means that it has a harder time attacking you. Um, it also could designate a point where if you hit it. It'll take more damage. Uh, in this case, it's mostly about playing around his uh, his blind spot. But of course, we gotta kill some more trash enemies. Like I said before, it wouldn't be a Final Fantasy dungeon if we didn't have some uh, some trash enemies. Come on. Yep, get cornered, please, because I hate chasing you guys around. Ooh, that looked like it hurt. I do have increased critical hit rate because of Sharp. Oof, well that hurt. Right. I have no idea where the enemies are. How much MP do I have? 94. Alright. Let's kill off however many save- Oh, that was close. I backed off the, to parry and I, I think I interrupted his parry attack with that. Oh! Dude, I love the feeling of hitting something with the giant sword. I mean, who doesn't though? Who really doesn't like that feeling? If you don't like that feeling, let me know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think it's weird, but I just, I just need to know if anybody doesn't like the feeling of just hitting something with a big sword, or even the spear. The spear is very satisfying as well. Uh, one of those enemies is in stasis. Not even in. I don't know what that. That. Oh. I was honestly, I was playing with one hand the whole time. I was, uh, I was checking. I was checking my, uh, <laughs> I was checking my OBS settings real quick with the other hand, so, uh, rip dodges. There we go. Now I'm playing with two hands again. Oh, and the one time I decided to play with two hands, I make a mistake anyway. So, ripperonis, pepperonis. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Two minutes flat. No bonus, because I took a lot of damage there. It's my fault anyway. Alright, let's move on to the next part. It's only 80 meters away. Alright, I, I wanted to make sure... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss any little, uh, little outings or anything. Any more dragon scales? No, it doesn't look like I did. Oh, just saw him. Squeeze under here real quick. Where is he? Where are you, you big behemoth? Oh, another item. I'll take it. More tiny feathers. I guess you can consider the feathers like following his trail. 
You can find them out in the open world too, but exercise due caution. It definitely feels like he has some uh, feathers stuck in his teeth, and he's scratching them out uh, on the way. Considering how many feathers there are. Okay. Now, as you can see, it is very, very foggy. And we're not planning on attacking him just yet. So, we're going to follow him home. So, this just became Metal Gear Solid, basically. We do not want to let it see us, and we do not want to lose its trail. So, for this, you don't actually need to take cover, really. Uh, you can actually just walk immediately behind him. And he won't track you most of the time. You just have to make sure you're not too close to him. That's the bigger thing. Because this event goes a lot quicker if he never once senses your presence. He's getting kind of far away, though. So let's try and uh, just move the stick gently. Try and follow him. If you follow him at this kind of pace, like this far behind him, he'll just walk the entire way. And you're usually pretty safe. I'm sure there's an even faster way of doing this. A spot you can stand where you will never be out of range of losing him. But, uh... Never be in range of being detected. I'm sure somebody's figured that out by now. Come on. Just trying to stay a decent distance. Like, literally, he's, he just walked in a giant circle. I'm convinced he just walked in a circle. Like, that was, that was bull. I'm sneaky. I'm sneaky. He doesn't know I'm here yet. I haven't, I haven't got, I haven't, uh, if, you know, if you get that red bar across the top of your screen, you have to immediately take cover. Otherwise, there's a good chance he'll sense you, but he also stops walking for a couple of seconds whenever that happens. So you'll definitely notice, trust me. We're Metal Gear Noctis. Metal Gear Noctis, baby. Metal Gear Fantasy, there you go. I'm getting kind of close, to be honest. I don't think I... Oh, what the heck is this? A phoenix down? I've never found that item before. Oh, and now I'm too far away. <laughs> I got so excited that I got the phoenix down that I almost was too far away. I've never gotten a phoenix down while doing this sequence before. I guess there are there are items hidden and strewn about this, this fog-laced area. Should probably come back and explore a little bit more. Maybe there'll be some more secrets here. Maybe another Armager Sword or something. I know there's a third Armager Sword you can get. I don't remember how I got it before. I'm pretty sure you just get it from, like, beating the demo or beating the Behemoth or something like that. I don't remember. But I know you can get a third Armager Sword to get Night Shields. Oh, there's another item over there. I can see it. This time I can see the item. I think we're almost at the end anyway. Just a tiny feather. Nothing major. I already... That actually makes for my second Phoenix Down, too. Because uh, Phoenix Downs, basically, if somebody's at zero maximum HP, you can use it on them. That's pretty much how it works. Alright, so he just climbed up over, just making sure there are no items. You know what's funny? You want to see something absolutely hilarious? You know how I just snuck by him all by myself? You can even see in the bottom right corner, my party members aren't with me. Like, that's how much in solitude I was just for that little, uh, just for that little engagement right there. You want to see what doesn't make any sense? That. What the hell are you three doing up here? And how, why the hell did you go without me? This is a checkpoint. You will return here if you're defeated. Keep that in mind. I'm probably, I'm going to try not to get defeated. It's pretty hard to get defeated, honestly. We have, we have a lot of potions. They gave you 15 potions to start with. I don't even know how you could go about using all 15 of those potions. Alright. Drop down. Stalk the behemoth a little bit more. There he is. What's up, Deadeye? And now we're going to devise a plan to kill him. Each of us will need to do his part if we're to succeed. Luring the behemoth here falls to you, Highness. I'm loath to put you in harm's way, but it's the only way. Alright. Somehow, Ignis has already devised a plan, even though we've only been here for, like, five seconds. Don't even know how he would have done that. So we're gonna follow him. Why do I feel like the camera's, like, way too up in my face? Compton. Yeah. There we go. The plan. Prompto will fire on the gas tank to set off a blast. Yes, sir. Look how cool I look. 
dressed in all black like all my friends. I guess the fact that they're all dressed similar kind of shows you that they're all friends in some way. I don't know. Friends, sometimes friends dress similar. It's normal. Is there any way for me to make my camera go back farther? Subtitles, show, vibration function, camera, horizontal, inverted, the sensitivity. That I have set at max on purpose. Alright, guess not. <laughs> I guess the camera will forever be close to me again. Nah, I'm sure it'll I'm sure it'll go back when I actually start fighting. Highness. Focus. Oh no, I'm not gonna focus. Don't worry. I'm gonna just take this totally easy. Uh, oh. Look at the behemoth in its natural habitat. Yeah, by all means. Yeah, like I'm just not gonna immediately run at him. Oh, I guess I need to get even closer. Great. Okay, think I pissed them off. Let's get the hell out of here. No time to dilly -dally. Come, and get me. Come and get me. There we go. It's time. I think followed me fast. Oh! Hit him on his weak spot. Shot the gas tank. Now he's on fire, taking about 2,000 damage a tick. Now we warp to his back and stab him. Wow, that was really easy. I don't know why you wouldn't try to stab it in the head as opposed to the back. Where your sword probably yeah. penetrates about, oh, yeah. I don't know, Woo. 10 inches of muscle and no, here. like, That's what nothing else, like a minor flesh wound. I totally believe that this behemoth is dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, would you look at that? It's not dead. Why am I not surprised at all? Oof. That looked like a rough landing, though. And now we actually get to fight the behemoth. And this thing is, this is tough no as hell. What? You're gonna see that pretty fast, what it's like to fight an enemy of this caliber. Yep. Remember, it's blind in one eye. It's gonna remind me of that. Yep, he's blind in one eye. Alright, I don't wanna warp. Stop with the warps. I don't wanna warp. I don't wanna warp to any of those locations. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Full thrust! Full thrust! Oh, that was a good amount of damage right there. Oh! Then we all got wrecked. I'm just gonna go for his back legs. His back legs seem to be the safest. I'm also on the wrong side of his body because this isn't where his blind point is. That's the right side. I don't want to attack his tail either. Did, did he just do like 2700 damage? My party member, uh, Gladio? I think he did. Let's. Oh, you can knock him off his legs. It's just. Oh my goodness, that was close. I actually wanted to parry that attack because that attack is really strong. Oh, as you can see, barely making a dent. And if he hits me once, it's almost like game over. Where's my party? There they are. <laughs> oh, that was close. Almost got hit. Time is on their side. We should go. Yeah, that's easier said than done, friend. I'm gonna just teleport here, and then uh, we're gonna get the hell out. Oh, nope, nope. He's got other plans. Oh, yeah. yeah, running away is a lot easier said than done. This thing does uh, not want us to get away very much. Oh, I'm just gonna dodge backwards. Don't worry, I've got an escape route right behind me. Dude, his eye looks weird as hell. I don't mean to be a bully, but your eye is bugging me out. I'm almost at the escape. 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 I'm almost here. Oh, he made me dodge the wrong way. Oh, dodge that way. Please, please, please. Go, go, go. Woo. That was close. That was pretty close. Okay, so that's what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to run away from him right there just to trigger that little sequence. Now, you don't have to, actually, because we actually already have all the tools we need in order to defeat him. And by all the tools, I mean... Remember in the last part how we unlocked Rama? You're about to see the most epic thing that you've ever seen in a Final Fantasy game. I guarantee it. I guarantee this is the most epic thing you've ever seen. So in order to trigger summoning Rama, remember I have to have zero HP. So that's our first goal. And now, now that I have my zero HP triggered, you'll notice that uh, there's a lot of lightning bolts around. Or there's a lot of uh, little, like... I don't know, pieces of energy. So I just hold X, and now all of a sudden, there's lightning in the air, right? That means you know that the summoning's working. Also, good time, Prompto. Good time. And then, oh, I never get tired of seeing this. Every time you don't see this for like five minutes, then you see it again. 
Look at how big he is. Oh, and by the way, he's got Ixion's head on his staff, in case you didn't notice, from Final Fantasy X. So, this is what a summoning looks like in Final Fantasy XIV. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me. And look how much damage it does. 99, 99, 99, 99. It just, it just kills him. That's all you need to know. And then, even after all that's over, you can still just be like, yo. What's up? <laughs> Ignis is clapping. He's like, nice. Nice. Good job, everybody. Good job hitting zero HP and then having Ramu, or Rama, as he is called in this game, or at least as Cindy calls him, just getting wrecked. That is basically what happened. He got wrecked. <laughs> Unbelievable. Before we might reclaim our car, we'll need to claim the small All right, so now it's going to set us towards the end of the game, pretty much. Uh, it's going to turn nighttime soon, so we are actually going to traverse the rest of this. I don't care if it becomes night, because we're only... We're 600 meters away. It's not that big a deal, right? I don't know how he's running, though. I just noticed that... Uh, actually, never mind. The, the boots you're wearing. Are those boots? <laughs> nice nice one, Gladio. I'm, we're we're going to pretend we didn't see that. Luckily, because we killed the behemoth on the north side of his, lair, of his den... We, uh, we don't have that far to run. Otherwise, it would be like 1,200 meters to get there. But yeah, that was a summon. I don't even know how you have... I don't even know how summons are going to work in the full game. Because there's no way they can all literally work as like a saving you at zero HP kind of deal. There has to be some other system. Maybe it has to do with the magic system that hasn't been implemented yet. They just probably wanted to show off Ramu. And they wanted to give you the... Ability to see a summon. That was probably the biggest reason why they made it that way. They needed to give you an epic way to defeat the behemoth. And they, uh... That was it. That was the epic way that they came up with for defeating the behemoth. And it was epic. It just makes me wonder. What are the other no summons going to be like? You know... Th they specifically said that you get no items or EXP in the demo... But what about the full game? Are they just... They, they can't do that. They all can't just wreck face like that. They probably all deal good damage. There's got to be a different trade-off in the full game, though. I won't buy that. That is exactly how they all are. And I... I, I don't know. That's just... It was crazy. It was so crazy to see that for the first time. And even seeing it again now, just, like, just for like recording's sake, it, it's still crazy that that is summons in final fantasy 15 that is something they absolutely did right in the demo oh i still wish i gotten hit by that car just to see i tried again but it didn't work so funny thing that can happen actually you notice i'm going into the store he can actually go on break this guy and i've only played final fantasy 11 which by the way ripped final fantasy 11 um, Lady, you got it too. I've only seen that happen in Final Fantasy XI, where That's the shops all. close at certain times. But he usually just here. goes outside. I don't think I've ever seen it where to the point where he's actually like full on closed. But yeah, who knows? All right, we'll sell that. We'll sell these. We'll sell the feathers that we picked up along the way. And now we have oh, and a coin, and a coin. Oh, Edge of Yore. Is that the uh, is that the other Armager sword? I think it is. I think I got it from uh, from beating the Behemoth just sell all these items why not one thing that i don't seem to i don't see is a way to speed up the amount of items like i have to just scroll to the right at this speed in order to sell them all i would like an option to uh to sell them all i have two phoenix downs also can you buy phoenix downs from this guy nope buy a lot of potions i'll wait to buy the potions until after i complete the demo now. how about that Taking the gill by the horns. Now, it is nighttime, so as you can see, Cindy's not out here. There's my car waiting for me. So, let's just hit up the caravan real quick. Let's just pay 200 gill and rest. Get that nice... Now, we got that 4,000 EXP from completing that quest. It's now going to get multiplied by 1.5, plus all the other EXP we might have gotten. Not much, because, you know, I pretty much only did the quest. Killed a few enemies along the way. But still, I got 6,000, 1.5, plus the extra 100... Get some nice levels out of that. And we're good to go. Nighttime has passed. And I am going to mute my microphone. Hopefully, again, audio sync. Please, 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 please be on my side. I'm going to be checking immediately after this recording. Please be on my side. Everybody, enjoy the final cutscene of episode Deuce K. Hey, y'all about ready?
ready to settle up? Ready as we'll ever be. Didn't mean to keep you waiting. Oh, don't you worry about that one bit now. We have what was in the estimate. Yep, that ought to cover it. So, reckon it's about time we got you back together with your girl. <laughs> Well, here she is. Come see for yourself. She's primed, prim, and proper. I reckon you won't find a loose nut or bolt on her. We're in your debt. I'll say you are. I souped her up a bunch for you. I should charge you, but I'm not gonna. This one's on the house. That's uh, awfully nice of you. Well, just make sure y'all come back to Hammerhead now, you hear? Count on it. Nowhere else we'd take it. Don't you forget it. <laughs> Hop in. Right. <laughs> oh, it's alive! Just let us know if you need anything. Well, won't be about repairs next time. Well, that's fine by me. We can tune her up however you like in the garage. All you gotta do is just bring her on in. So it's all right if we call you? Sure is. Papa love having someone to talk to. <laughs> we'll bring something by when we visit. For Sid, of course. Hmm. Yeah. Time to hit the road. Thanks again, Cindy. Mm. Y'all take care out there. インソムニアがニフルハイム帝国軍の襲撃を受けたらしい昨日の夜調印式の席で騒ぎがあった王都を守る障壁が崩壊帝国軍は王都城周辺を爆撃おい待てよ両国間で行われていた停戦協定については今回の事件を受け当面の凍結が発表されましたまた亡くなられたレギス国王陛下に続きノクティス王子そしてテネブラエのフルレケ霊場ルナフレーナ様の死亡が新たに確認されていますいいか途中で投げ出すことは許されないルシス王家の人間としてこのレギスの息子として常に胸を張れ and that is all for episode Deuce K. Thank you everyone for watching so much. It's going to tell you thank you for watching right now. Now I go to the editing process where I find out all the audio is going to be off sync and I'm going to be having to modify it a little bit. But regardless of what happens, thank you so much. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching this video. And I may have one more video to make about episode Deuce K, but I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. It does have something to do with that behemoth though. So, anyway, thank you for watching. I'm going to save over the completed game, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care.